here I am in my basement. I am making a round table. So I already kind of in the middle of the project. Uh, the first thing I did is I got some 2x6 boards. Uh, they were cut down to 4 feet each. And I glued, wood glued together, 7 boards. And I did that in stages. So I, I basically glued these 3 together first. And then I glued these 3 together. And then I glued the middle piece to both of those um, sections. And then I went around and drew a circle with a, a string. I cut it off with the jigsaw. And of course these boards are not perfect. They're really cheap. Uh, 2x6 boards. Then now I am planing because in places where it's not quite smooth uh, as it meets each other. So uh, this green is going uh, upwards, this goes downwards, upwards, downwards, upwards, downwards and upwards. So, so it doesn't warp. And now I just have this little hand planer where it's not very even. I'm gonna shave that off roughly. And I have a board here that I'm just gonna use to make sure it's kind of wet wooled. It's not gonna be perfect. I've done some sanding. Oh, I forgot to say that before I glued these together, I sanded the edges. So that way my edges are as even as possible. Obviously I don't have a planer. I don't have a table saw to cut cut the edges off so I just did the sanding with a 60 grid sandpaper and from that I got a bunch of uh, sawdust I'm gonna take the sawdust mix it with glue and I'm gonna fill in these cracks where you see this is a bigger opening here the next thing I did I mixed up sawdust with uh, glue and I spread it with this spreader into the cracks. I spread the glue uh, mix into the cracks between the planks. Here's some spot that I missed. I have some maybe some that's still wet so I can spread that in there because the wood glue does dry fast more than faster than you think, but it gives you about 10 minutes to play with it. Well, this looks good for now. So this is the next day after I filled in the cracks with uh, the glue and sawdust. Now I'm gonna do some more uh, planing. I can feel with my hands that uh, there are some humps at some places. So wherever I see the hump, feel the hump, I'm gonna go across with the planer. straight with the grain now to kind of even it out. I'm still gonna have to go back and fill up a little bit of cracks and here's a little piece missing in the wood. Of course that's gonna have to be made perfect in a little bit but as you can see that the glue and uh, the, the sawdust uh, together created a very hard bond in the cracks, so they just need to be smoothed out with additional glue and uh, sawdust. And 
Well, that's perfect. I think I'm pretty good on level with everything, as you can see. And I'm still gonna sand it more, even on the edges, to make it more round and smooth. But that's gonna be at the final sanding when I use a fi finer sander. But for now, I think I'm gonna do a couple of more runs of sanding just to smooth out all, all the marks that the planer have left. You can see it if I come closer. I'm I'm feeling these holes. I'm at the stage where I sanded with the 60 grid sandpaper and then I sanded with 120 and then I dusted it. I transported the legs and the top separately so I'm gonna put that together. Also after I stained and top coated all the pieces. I attached the metal trim, which I think is gonna make it a little bit different. And now I'm gonna put it together. So I made sure it's centered all sides, and I pre drilled the screw holes, and I used two and a half inch finishing screws because that's all I had in that length because this is one and a half and this is one and a half so uh, this went in one inch into this top so perfect and I did five holes on each end and in the middle so that should hold and now I'm gonna flip it over and see if it falls apart Looks pretty good. It fits nicely into this uh, limited space we have for the dining room. So that's what that looks like.